Hey, what's up, Android Fanatics? This is TechFanatic9 from AndroidRoots.com, and we're back here with another great ROM review for Galaxy Nexus GSM. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get it, dive into this whole ROM. Um, I actually love this ROM. It gives you nice new features that you usually don't get with other ROMs, so it's pretty unique. Not a total lot unique, but a good amount of unique, which I do like, and I like these features that are added into this ROM. So first of all, as always, let's go into about phone, and there you go. You got you're on 4.2.1, obviously the latest version. And you're running on purity as well. So let's go ahead and dive into the ROM and let's see. So let's go into settings. And in here you got um, four options basically is your uh, main uh, navigation, lock screen, power menu, status bar, and quick settings. So let's go into lock screen and here you got some things that you can mess around. Um, as you can see I already got um, things already on here. So let me go actually go into my lock screen right away here. And you have, you have shortcuts to your uh, messaging app, clock, Browser, which is actually a bookmark I did, and camera app. So let's go ahead and unlock it, and let's change uh, the bookmark one. Okay, so let's change it to application, and let's go to calendar. Let's say I want that. Select it, and save it, and now it should be on calendar. Let's go ahead and take a look at it, and yes, we're on calendar. So you can uh, add shortcuts, which is really nice. It's a much more quick navigation. Um, a lot faster and easier than actually looking for the app um, once you uh, uh, unlock it. So it's a nice feature. Um, let's go into power menu. And do you actually like this part? Um, as you can see, I got expanded uh, desktop right there. And that one is actually um, really nice. Um, let me actually show you what it does. So let me go into the browser. Turn my Wi-Fi first of all. Um, Wi-Fi. And there we go. Okay, so let's go into the browser and I'm going to... I'm gonna show you on what it actually does and I like it. It's pretty cool, especially when these navigation bars and the status bar does take up uh, a bit of your uh, screen, which really does suck at points. Um, so as you can see, we're on androoots.com, my website. So let's go ahead and um, select that. So just hold on the power button and here expanded desktop. As you can see, now it makes the screen a lot bigger and you can see it looks a lot better because there's no navigation bars. So if we uh, disable it, you got the navigation bars and the status bar at the top. Let me actually zoom in the status bar. And now when we select it again, it'll disappear. So that's a really nice feature, especially when you're reading on a browser or just doing something that you requires a lot of screen. Uh, you can scroll down and see more of the screen, which I really like. And it looks a lot better with no uh, navigation bars, the curve and all that. So that's really nice as well. So let's go ahead and disable that so I can go back to the home screen. And setting, uh, let's go to settings one more time. And um, let's go into uh, status bar. Um, you, I like this one. Um, you got battery stylist uh, style, and uh, me personally, I like um, circular. So you can see uh, battery with percentage. So you have all these options to uh, choose which one you want. You can do circle, and then when you look here, you got the circle battery right there. Um, me personally, I like the circle with the um, percentage. So you can see right there, we got the percentage right there as well. If we can focus that, there we go. So you have all these options that you can do with this, um, the battery as well. So that is nice. Um, let's actually go into, I believe it was in display. Um, I could be, oh, it's actually in display. Um, here you have notification lights. So if you're usually on stock or a usual rhyme, you're going to see just the white notification light. But with this one, you have an option to do a lot more. So let's go ahead and change the default lights and let's change it to green. So, um, let's go to green right there. And now let's do test. So it's going to turn off the screen and we'll see the color right there. So as you can see, it's it's greenish, but not very green. So let's go ahead and change it to something darker, maybe red. There we go. Oh, got to test it first. Test it. And there we go. It should There you go. You got a red light right there. So you have all these options to change that up as well, which is really nice, um, which I really do like as well. And you have the options for missed call and voicemail. My SIM card isn't here in here, so I don't have the option to actually uh, change that. But that's really nice notification as well. And you have quick settings as well, so this is really nice. You have options to change your toggles. So overall, I think Purity RAM is a great, great RAM, stable, and it gives you the options that me personally I really like, like the battery and notification light power. Um, so you can change that as well. So overall, it's really nice. I would recommend you get this for your Galaxy Nexus GSM. As always, uh, links below where you can download this. So click on that link and I'll give you everything that you need and the source for the XDA form if you want to uh, donate to the developer, which I would recommend you, or give them a thanks, or just see what's up with uh, development on that as well. So that about wraps it up, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like button down in the bottom uh, left-hand corner. 
and if you have a problem with this ROM or you know something installation or something like that, uh, you can contact me through Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus. And don't forget to follow me, like me, and add me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus as well. So you can get contact with me a lot easier for next time maybe or something else. Thanks for watching guys. Peace.